Hi all, I am Udit and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So um, we are in 2024 and the job market has changed a lot. Um, the way you know, right from the beginning till the end, the whole the, the whole process works. I mean, a lot of changes have happened, and I'm going to tell you about all those changes. And you know, then we'll also discuss um, how how you can excel in the interviews and you know in your job in, in 2024. So um, I'll, I'll maybe you know take a very practical approach. So we'll start right from the first step. So, you know, the first step that you do for applying while applying for a job is the application itself, right? And actually, um, even before that, you do the preparation, but I'll come to the preparation once we understand the interview process, because once you know what is being asked, then you will be able to understand better how to prepare for it, right? So maybe let's park that step for a minute. Let's start with the step of uh, job application process. And in, again, job application process, there are two steps, right? The first sub step is preparing your resume. That's the, you know, your something which is representing you in front of the recruiter or you know the hiring manager or the company right so preparing resume has become so important at this time why because there are lots of candidates who are there who are applying for the jobs um, and they are not getting shortlisted why because again the, the, the supply is more right than the demand earlier the situation was you had only two job openings at the same time you had only one person who was applying for it or maybe one person for 10 or 10 job openings that's why Whenever you are applying, you are getting an interview call. But these days, even, you know, again, many people keep reaching out to me and asking, Udit, we are not getting interview calls. And what I feel is the, uh, and what we root cause is the problem with them is their resume. They have not created a good resume. They have not created a ATS friendly resume. They have not created a resume which is easily shortlistable. And that's what making them lose the interview calls. That's what making them not getting any interview calls. So one very important thing is that your resume should be good. Your resume should be it is parsable. Your resume should be competent enough so that it can stand out from other candidates to get interview calls. If you really want to understand how to create a better resume, because you know creating a better resume in itself is a full one hour process. So we have I've actually have created a separate uh, roadmap for it. I'll put the link of that roadmap. You can register for the roadmap and we can improve for your resume, right? But resume creation is a very serious step people take it very lightly at times that okay let me just write something and just submit it it was fine earlier sometime maybe two years back it was fine because almost everybody was getting shortlisted um, but now um, companies are very picky okay and they pick only candidates who have done really well in their career and then that's why you have to showcase that well thing in your resume right only then your resume will get shortlisted so Please make a good resume, please make a strong resume so that you can stand out from the other candidates so that you get shortlisted and get an interview call. That's one very important thing. Second important thing, once you have got the resume, right, so you have a resume in front of you, now how to apply, right? Again, the job application has become very different. Earlier, recruiters used to call you a lot because again, you know, the, the demand was more. So recruiters were themselves reaching you a lot. At this time, um, even, you know, I have been in contact with a lot of mentees, even they keep saying this. They are not getting many calls because recruiters are already getting so many candidates. So instead of recruiters reaching out to you, you have to be more proactive and applying to the jobs. Use LinkedIn, use you know various online platforms where you get jobs. If you can get referrals, that would be even better. Many job openings are getting closed just by referrals. They are not being even posted on you know LinkedIn and all. They never come on job portals because they get filled so fast that you know hiring managers get some someone from the connections and they, 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 get it, they directly hire them, right? So application process, try to do referrals, reach out to your network, try to see, you know, who you know. Uh, if let's say you're applying for Amazon, try to find people in Amazon, try to find ma managers of Amazon, try to reach, the, reach, out, reach out to them on LinkedIn and all, you know, try to say that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to apply, you know, I want to apply and try to get their traction. And if you get their traction, it will be very easy for you to, you know, get shortlisted. But you have to be very proactive, don't lose hope, don't get demotivated. Persistence is the key here because again, the supply is more. So you have to apply more um, and keep applying is the only key. I think job market is increasing. Last few months I've been seeing more calls, more calls people are getting. But it's still, you know, it's not the same as 2021. So still you have to do a lot of application by yourself and you have to reach out to people more for getting an interview call. So that's about the resume. That's about the uh, application process. Let's say once your resume gets shortlisted, right? Then the typical interview process is, I mean, earlier it was DSA, maybe low level design and high level design, that's all, right? But because what happened was last few years, interviewers or companies also saw 
what people do is they just watch a video and then you know they just come for the interview that's why they are also evolving their process um, that's why there are new types of interviews that keep coming up so dsa is still there you know data structure algorithms it's like a screening process you we'll still go through you know coding and, and problem solving rounds and you'll still solve those problems in front of the interview but now in nld you will also see problems from multi threading from database schema sql schema you know a very famous problem is like uh, design book my show database schema you know design jira ticket book my uh, database schema in multi threading you know like print numbers from one to n using you know two threads one for even one for odd maybe write a in memory message broker using java all of these have become really important because interviewers are evolving and they are trying to come up with new and new problems machine coding rounds also people will try to you know ask you these kind of problems so ld has become you know a little broader instead of just class structure multi threading database schema is also very important now and you have to prepare for all of these three things right and then hld is the another thing again in hld i think many companies are still asking those standard problems like twitter instagram and all but many other companies are also trying to innovate there and trying to come up with new and new problems so that's the interview landscape at this time data structure algorithms low level design high level design in terms of tech and then in low level design you have class design uh, database schema mainly sql based database schema and then you have uh, multi threading right uh, then other other than tech there is leadership principles again you know though i feel if i remember correctly amazon started this leadership principle interviews now every company almost has sort of you know started also and now every company asks leadership Uh, principle based question which you generally solve by star method um you know it's a situational based question where you will be given a question and like a behavior question like how did you perform in so and so situation for example um did you have any chance where you know where you had a conflict with a team member did you have any time where you were not able to complete a project delivery on time right so these kind of situation based questions will be given to you and you will be expected to answer on them so these is this is the interview landscape for software engineer role Uh, be it any level, SG one, SG two, SG three, SG four, and staff, the interview expectations just change. Meaning, the complexity of the problems will change, the kind of answers they would expect would change. But the kind of interviews have become very common. Meaning, right from SG one, they will ask, you know, database, uh, sorry, data structures, algorithms, low level design, little bit high level design. Some startups ask, but big companies don't ask. Uh, but SG two, they will ask, you know, data structures, algorithms, low level design, high level design, even for SG threes and staff interviews. the same kind of expectations will be there so this is the interview process that you are going to have so let's come to the preparation point now right now we have understood that okay companies are asking these many things so how to prepare for them so for data structures things remain almost the same i have already created a video in the past where i am talking about you know how to prepare for dsa how to understand them so maybe i'll put a link of that video in the description here and maybe you can watch it uh, i will try to focus more on design because that's where the landscape changes more uh, starting with the low level design um here the things are not any more just about class design extensibility and solid principles and all definitely it's one of the again core areas people are still evaluating on you it's not like it is gone it is still there but along with it there is multi threading and database schema also now in multi threading you will be as i you know told you the question will be like you know uh, print even odd numbers you know using multiple threads so idea is you are expected to implement a multi threaded code which is running which is you know doing some work in a multi threaded environment and that's why now you need to understand multi threading in a you know good manner you need to know how threads work how you know threads interoperate with each other what is the critical section problem what is the thread synchronization and then you also have to again understand how to do it in a particular language you know maybe in java how do you use wait notify and all how do you use logs how do you synchronize keywords you have to understand all of these things how multi threading works and then again you have to solve problems okay similarly for database schema you have to understand you know sql uh, you have to understand tables you know how to create columns you know how to build relationships between the two tables how to you know uh, map various kind of relationships like you know one to many many to many or one to one kind of relationships you know primary keys foreign keys constraints Uh, database isolation levels lots of things you have to understand on databases in terms of sql database because again companies are asking um on these stuff um right but again i'm i'm not saying 100% of companies are asking maybe i would say 30 40% companies are asking for on multi threading and um data schema 100% companies are already asking for low level design so i think uh, you know low level design in terms of class structure is really important at the same time multi threading and database schema you also have to learn in a very good manner now and you have to understand it well right for all of these three things in terms of low level design you know class design multi threading and um, database schema i already do i already do cohorts you know um, 
and there are some recorded cohorts also you can go to my profile on engine bogey where I, you know i keep posting about these cohorts and you can register on one of them if you still face you know challenges in solving these problems they will help you a lot because i am doing these cohorts right from scratch telling everything how to approach a problem how to think about a solution what are the pros and cons of various approaches how to finalize one of the solution everything we discuss in those cohorts so if you get a chance to attend a live cohort i would highly suggest please do that if not then recordings are also there you can register for the code and watch the recordings and maybe you know you can book a separate session with me if you have any doubts again you can do that from engine bogey but the point is understanding them with first hand experience with someone you know hands on experience with someone is really important because that will make you strong in both low level design multi threading and database schema so i'll put those links in the description if you want you can register for them that's about lrd right how about hld hld uh, it's like you know you are given a problem you will be you know designing the high level design for it you know database schema oh, sorry database uh, choice you will be doing microservices you know what all services will you create how will they communicate with each other do you want to use you know uh, kafka and all of those stuff scalability and availability becomes the prime aspects to understand you know uh, whether the design is good or not and that's what you are evaluated on when you are doing a hld so again in hld i think things are pretty similar as they were doing earlier only thing that changes is the kind of problems earlier uh, they were very standard problems people keep asking like you know twitter instagram and all still many companies are doing the same thing but now because again many people are seeing many interviewers are seeing you know people just watch the youtube video then they just come to the interview so now they have started evaluating in detail there will be more cross questioning there will be more you know pros and cons discussion like why you are making a particular choice and all and people are also trying to innovate on the problems they will try they are trying to come up with different different problems um just to see you know how you are able to apply the same concepts in a different problem right so i think again understanding high level design right from basics understanding scalability availability all the high level design components is really important i again soon be starting high level design cohort keep you know uh, i mean maybe you can follow me on linkedin or you know uh, stay tuned you know, on my uh, indian bogi profile i'll be posting at both the places once i start my high level design cohort but understanding both the low level design and high level design right from basics everything about it is really important because now just watching a video and going to the interview will not work because there will be a lot of cross questioning there will be a lot of pros and cons discussion there will be a lot of trade offs discussion which will be asked to you and you will have to answer them again and the reason for that only is lot of supply because of many people applying to the job they they have more chances to filter right so they will ask more questions they will try to see if you know more and that's why they will try to drill you more on the interview right that's why you need to be better prepared you need to better know things in terms of design and that's what i would request you to do these things in detail understand these things in detail that's what is different and the next thing is leadership principles there are the, again i mean i think the expectations remain the same there is no new thing only thing again is because of better supply you need to be better prepared with the answers you need to think about more complex situations better situations which you can answer in those questions again if you are if you have confusion like you know what how these interview you know um, really go how to answer a particular question in that interview maybe you can connect with me on inchin bogin i'll be able to help you better because i'll be able to understand your kind of situation and you know then maybe we can prepare answers as per that because every one every one situation is different right so there is no single generic answer for like you know what was the most challenging project you have solved everybody has their own experience and the challenging project will become different for them right? that's why behavior questions or situation based questions cannot be generic i mean the answers cannot be generic um they have to be dealt with on a one on one basis so if you have any such kind of a thing you can you know connect with me with, with me on engine bogey um in a one on one session and we can discuss about it right um but these are the areas which in which you have to prepare really well and you have to be really strong because these days interviews are you know um, are very difficult are very complex because lots of grilling is happening but still many people are clearing it so don't get you know demotivated or don't 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 get fear uh, about it uh rather prepare well give proper input uh um, give proper time and then give the interviews you would be really well right with that i would like to close the video i hope i would i was able to help you if you need any other help if you think i should create a video on any other topic feel free to comment over there in the video i'll be trying i'll, I'll try to create a uh, video on that topic now and uh, yeah i'll i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye all the best